Good evening, everyone, on today's special session recap of 25 of November. Today we are going to see new setups for, for our uh, four <coughs> major currency pairs. Also, we will see how many pips last session get us, and it was particularly maybe the last session was the best of all those session recaps. We had major wins on almost every currency pair, including Euro, Japanese, yen. <clears throat> Just before I start, I would like you to welcome my colleague, Mr. Mikhail Onohov. He will speak a couple of good things about plant or motivation and whatever he prepared. And please, after he finishes, stay with me to have another session recap. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening to everybody who decided to join our webinar today in the evening. My name is Mikhail Onohov. Let me show you the presentation I have prepared for you today. I welcome you to, the, to another exciting week of financial trading and financial education that is hosted by Neural Markets. Thank you very much for such a lovely introduction, Nenad. I will continue with a short presentation of my own. My name is always is Mikhail Olakhov, and I'm a client relationship manager for Admiral Markets. In essence, my job is to create the best possible trading environment for you. Today, we're going to have another very fun episode of Fun with Forex. I will tell you a funny story, an interesting story about the tulip mania that occurred in the Netherlands a few hundred years ago. But before that, let me tell you about one interesting story. About three weeks ago, I read a very interesting story on a student from, from Oslo who bought himself a few Bitcoin in 2009 and then he just forgot about his investment completely. He was very surprised to find out that $27 worth of Bitcoin in 2009 is equal to more than half a million dollars in 2013. That was quite a fantastic return his investment. I was very jealous when I read this story. In fact, I was so jealous I lost my appetite for a week. So I decided to come up with a story of my own that will tell you uh, a story of an amazing commodity that was very highly priced at some point of time and then lost most of its value. And of course, the best, uh, this is by the way, the chart for Bitcoin. This was been happening with Bitcoin for the uh, late time in 2013. We see huge spikes in the price. So I decided to tell you a story about tulip mania that, that occurred in 1637 in the Netherlands. At that point of time, as you can see on the peak, tulips were one of the most expensive commodities available to a human person. Acres and acres of land were traded for one tulip bulb. In fact, uh, some people would have to work for 10 years, a skilled craftsman would have to work for 10 years to afford one tulip bulb. So if we take it in, into a perspective, if we assume that a skilled craftsman would earn around 30 grand a year, we can calculate that one tulip bulb would cost approximately one-third of a million. And how much do tulips cost nowadays? I can probably buy myself a dozen for a price of lunch. Will that happen to Bitcoin? I don't know. In fact, nobody knows. But what I do know, however, is there are a certain amount of commodities that have been around for centuries and thousands of years, such as gold, silver, and oil. Also, commodities that have been around for hundreds of years, such as indices and stocks. And all of those commodities are available on Admiral Standard in the CFD section. So if you want to invest into something that is really worth investment, invest into Admiral Standard and see your investments appreciate. Thank you very much for your attention. I will now pass the microphone back to Nenad, who will continue with his presentation. Thank you very much for your attention, guys. I will show you setups. Market plan for Euro dollar of uh, 24. 25th of uh, November. Just a reminder, we had nice also setups on uh, Aussie last uh, uh, last week, and we got our uh, target price uh, hit. It was basically sell around 94.40.50 with stops around 94.75, targeting 94.20, and that happened. That happened. We didn't get any drawdown from this trade, and we it was basically it was hit uh, also on euro japanese yen we had a nice very nice setup 
and here on Euro Japanese Yen we had a set up positional buy at 90 at 135.35 on breakout pullback continuation and trail the stop. So we had that uh, basically it hit our again target profit here it was the entry and it went some it seems like I didn't take this particular trade because I had all of those setups in play and I was maybe a little bit of leverage but basically it was good for 50 pips and now we can continue with the session recap of today market plan for euro dollar is we have uptrend on four hour time frame with possible deeper retracement uh, we can uh, position or buy around 34.80 and 34.60 with stops around 34.40. Uh, also targeting, we can target 35.30 and 35.70 subsequently. If something happens that we get a break of 34.50, we can sell it with 20 pip stop and 15 pip target. After that we will trail the stop. But primary setup for Euro will be as we can see uh, we we can take long positions and lo as long as we are about 30 uh, for 50 level and it seems that uh, euro is respecting the channel it went off in the channel again but at least I made today I have made uh, entry point it was on Forex factory I will show uh, quickly I will I will go through this and show you a chart and it was basically that setup. Also daily analysis that was the same one. Uh, it was around 3505 and 3510 where we could have a buy position. After that we hit that level which I marked 3530. It was for today. Also tomorrow I expect uptrend to continue as long we, as we are about 3450. Uh, uh, market plan for cable, we need to buy around 6. I think 61, 85 and 62. If it drops in Asia session, then we need to buy around 60, 90 with stops around 60, 40, targeting 61, 45. That is the pattern which is uh, respected a lot we can see from this chart I have made an inner trend line which has a confluence here around this level and you, you can see while I talk the, the level has been respected 61 41 you can see uh, now uh, it looks like this candle might be a hammer uh, this inner trend line also crosses uh, the red level and 76.4 retracement so we can get a nice buy or maybe if you're in position you can hold on to it. Also, I need to tell that if something happens in Asia session, we need to buy around, we could buy around again 1690. So be quick about this trade because tomorrow at 11 o'clock there will be inflation report on cable. So I'm not sure if we will get particular a, a good entry on that, uh, but still it looks bullish to me it looks like it might go again, it might even go to 63 but obviously the market is waiting for that uh, news that news you can see on calendar it will be tomorrow this is the news GBP 11 o'clock inflation report hearings uh, um, I would like to see for now it looks like 6140 scalps can be can get through uh, for positional trades protect yourself because we have also again this this pattern and this level 1693 which has been respected many times this was our last webinar you see how the price respected level it went to some slight drawdown of 30 pips but because uh, 30 pips is nothing compared to the target which was 100 and uh, well almost 120 pips and after that it went almost through the target. It dropped again to 6093, made some slight drawdown and jumped again. I can expect that this price will go through especially above 63 maybe, 62, 65, 63, but yet again we may have another drop to this level, but still it looks like 61, 40, 30 can get a, a nice support. 
Also, you see, Euro is respecting our analysis for today. Also, is respecting this L4 level. It was breakout, but pullback continuation was absent. It was a false breakout to the downside because the candle closed above. That there wasn't any retest continuation. Basically, what I wrote, it was like that: 35.05, 35.10. Now the price is going again to 35.15.16, and we had 35.30 today just per our analysis. And a quick recap, Aussie, uh, we have Aussie in downtrend. Support are these levels, resistance are these levels. Uh, I'm trying to be as fast as, as I can really. Uh, well, I'm glad that some people had the patient. I'm really am sorry again for, for this. Uh, I, I think it will not happen again. I, I'm really sorry if, if I, I see that some 15 people went away. Well, uh, Aussie is a downtrend, potential bullish wedge forming on four hour time frame. We have bullish wedge forming on four hour time frame. Yet again, we are in downtrend. So we may get a nice jump from here up to, I'm not sure how big, but at least to 92.15 or at least to that 38. But remember, though, that is that can be a counter trend trade. Okay, this is alternative trade, counter trend. I'm 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 more looking to sell at 9120 and break out pullback continuation targeting 9050, because this can be a trade. If this level breaks, you see 21 uh, 9125. We don't have any support till 9050, so we can break this. Not big support, I'm telling. We have some supports. Uh, we have support, of course, at 91, but big support is 9050. So I'm counting on it that the price can break to make a, a retest and then continue to go down. If that happens, be sure to to short it because we are in downtrend. Also, also, uh, if if uh, if you see this pattern, this is bullish wedge. You know, bullish wedge. This is not a triangle. This is wedge. What can happen is that the price rejects around these levels again and go to test some fib retracements. Uh, because we are in a strong downtrend, I don't see that it might go above 38.2. 38.2 is uh, 92.46. Well, anywhere from below this level, we can try to short it, okay? But for me, better short would be if the price goes through, then make a breakout pullback continuation pair. And what I see in Euro Yen, Euro Yen was, I, I, I can say that last recap was the best of all, because every single of our trades went into big profits. You can see that. I, I always respect my, uh, my uh, session recaps, and I'm telling you what happened in prior session, even if I make a loss, I will report it. But all of these these setups were quite in a profit, and this is where, where things might get interesting on on euro yen. I'm not sure now. I I really this is this has gone far too big, if you ask me. Why is that so? It's because uh, Japanese Bank of Japan needs to to lower the strength of the currency. So basically, we can see that even GBP, uh, Japanese yen, so-called dragon, made a five-year high. Also, many of, of these currencies, yen currency, made new highs. So I would like to see a pullback. I wouldn't show. I wouldn't go long here. Of course, I would like to see a pullback. If it happens, if it doesn't happen, well, we can skip the trade. We can see positional buy setups around. Six, uh, well, this is where it gets interesting. 136.50, 135.97. This is a big of a range because we have a, we had a really big, 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 big uptrend. So what can happen is the price retesting these levels. You can see this. This might be a little bit of shoulder. So if the price gets here, we can try to t enter here to the short side. But also watch this. This is where I have the confluence. 136.50 level. To proceed further to 138.94. So if it happens, we can we can see where I put stops 135.40 targeting 138.20.
or we can sell around 137.70 for a scalp, just a scalp trade around these levels, 137.70, okay, around these levels, because this is shooting star candle, where a drop, a retracement has begun. If something happens that spikes to this price, I can see a scalp trade around 137.70, the shooting star low, okay? So pay attention, guys, to those. So uh, GBP Japanese yen. I don't see I, I don't see a red levels now. I don't see a red a red template now. But I can I can try to to. Oh, it will be funny because I don't have my red levels here. But let me see GBP Japanese yen. I can only go through. Simple fib, of course. What I see, if this was the low from here, where the uptrend has started, but also this was the low after this double top. We can also put Fibonacci in here. Let's find a confluence. No, this cannot be a confluence. So we need to see whether we take this or this. I can say that we can take this one. Okay, this was basically why I'm taking this FIBO from here. You see, this was not a big, big jump. So this was the low and this is the high. This is some sort of, uh, I cannot say, if I, if I, if I take these two candles into account, that would be indecision. So where is the confluence now? Here is the confluence. 163.30. This is the confluence because we have a trend line that that intersects with the, these, this point. If it comes to this point, 61.8, it wouldn't be a confluence because this trend line would have been broken, okay? So I would say long around this level if it comes to that level. So my view of Japanese currency is that they need retracement. I I'm really I would I would not like to see to see those currency pairs go straight up because this is for our time frame. Look at this. They need retracement and retracement can be found here. So my view on Japanese, on Dragon, on, on Pound Yen is if this is in the decision candle, a slight stop candle, those two candles make a stop candle, then this is a retracement and we can see the first level of the, of the retracement is 38.2 and this is where we had uh, that double bottom. It's 63, 163.60 but the bigger retracement and more valid for me is this because it intersects with our trend line. So I would like to see a pullback to 163.03, okay? That is my view. A potential pullback and buy on pullbacks. So let's see again a quick recap. Market plan, euro dollar, those are support, those are resistance levels. So guys, uh, I'm short, let's see, I'm short from 164.95. Good, good, 64.95. Well, excellent short. Darshan, excellent short. But try to take some profit around this level and probably around this. If you are go for a swing, okay? Okay, good short, by the way. Now, okay, this is... 34.90, Congested levels because of a range. So I would look for a buy, only sell if we break this level on breakout, pullback continuation or trigger happy trade, scalp trade. Because probably stops are, are uh, will be collected down there once we get there. Uh, market plan on GBP. I see only long setups, but guys, this can be a game breaker, game changer. Something can happen tomorrow, but my bias for this is bullish. 
really. Aussie bearish would like to see down, breakout, pullback continuation. Wouldn't like it to break to this bullish wedge, okay? And finally, Euro, Japanese yen, positional buy at this level after the retracement, almost the same as GBPN. We need to see a retracement also on Euro, Japanese yen. We need to see a retracement, okay? Guys, again, sorry for this, uh, for the interrupts. We will see uh, next time. I'm sure it will not happen again. So pay attention to, of course, uh, annual markets analysis, daily analysis, also on Forex Factory, Forex Factory website, my spiders then. Those are sites where I put my analysis blocks. I will come tomorrow with new analysis, of course. Uh, also, we will have a good webinar. So, for those who want to see our webinars, you can also apply uh, under, let's see, education, webinars, and next webinar will be with my colleague, Chris Worzik. We will do a nice webinar about moving averages, okay? About, about moving averages, okay? And on, on 27th, I will be doing fundamental analysis, okay? And next recap, of course, the first in December. So bear with me. Another, if you want to take slides, screenshots, go ahead. Euro, cable. Aussie and Euro Japanese yen. Thank you, thank you very much for your support. Thank you, and uh, I hope that you will get some pips out of it. At least, I hope that you had taken at least one set, set up from the last week. Thank you very much, and see you very very soon. Bye. Cheers.